Good morning, everyone. I hope whoa, you are doing well. Nearly fell in the pool there. Love me, neck. But uh, welcome along to a new Florida vlog. It is another gorgeous day, of course. Blue skies, sunshine. We really have done well since those first few days we had with the rain. Since then, it's been gorgeous, hasn't it? I'm sure you're enjoying the blue skies through the screen. Uh, up and about today, I'm just about to make a little coffee for uh, everyone. Try and get them up out of bed. It's nine o'clock. Everyone's absolutely knackered. Uh, I'm up, showered. I've been doing some little bits uh, for when we do our villa tour today. I've got to film that a little bit later on. So switching on all the lamps and putting the TVs on, stuff like that. Little bits of behind the scenes uh, just to get some nice pictures and videos and stuff for that uh, to show off this villa for you all. And then we're going to see what happens later today. I'm not too sure what we're, uh, we're going to be up to. I don't know whether we're going to go for a bit of lunch or maybe go and try and play a bit of golf or I'm not too sure. We will have to wait and see. Uh, but first of all, we've got to get everyone out of bed. And now what I'm going to do is uh, get those little coffee podules going in the coffee machine. Because there's some lovely co uh, Joffrey's coffee there. Uh, the Mickey uh, Disney style ones. So I'm going to get them in. Try and get everyone up out of bed. There's some vanilla creamer in the fridge as well. And we'll try and get everyone up to start with. And then we'll uh, see where we go from there. But I hope you are all enjoying the vlog so far. If you are, uh, all I ask is just that you hit the little like button, the little thumbs up button underneath the video. Uh, that's all I ask. If you do want to see more of them, make sure you do subscribe. It's free. You don't have to pay to subscribe. A lot of people think it's like a Netflix subscription service. It's not. It's free uh, when you subscribe. All it's going to do is let you know uh, when we upload new videos. And uh, so you get a notification on your phone to say that... Uh, I've uploaded, it, uploaded a new Florida vlog, hopefully, if I can get them up quick enough. But yeah, make sure you do uh, subscribe and uh, hit the thumbs up, that's all I ask. And, uh, right, let's go make some coffees then, let's see how we get on with this, because I'm not too good with these machines, I'm not good with technology. So, we'll, uh, there you go, I've got a nice uh, background on the screen. Let's see how, what we can do, these are the podules here. Podules? Modules? What do we call them? Joffrey's Disney Blend. So now I presume that goes in which way? That way? That way does it? I think. Oh no, this is this is gonna be fun guys. God knows how this is gonna end. Right, I'm not sure what it's doing, it's doing something. I've pressed the pod jewel, it sounds like it's boiling. I don't know why it's flashing strong. But we're about to find out. The mug's underneath. I thought these were meant to be super easy. You click them in and press the button and away you go. Right, let's see how we get on. We've got some other stuff in here as well. We've got a blend coffee. It's another different blend of coffee. We've got, ooh, a breakfast blend. Nice. I'll give that one to Laura. We've got hot chocolates as well. Happy Belly hot chocolates. Nice, different teas, I think. Yeah, there you go. There's your English breakfast. Nice, got to put the kettle on, do a tea for Dad, and then we'll do these two coffees in the machine for Mum and Laura. If, if I'm doing it right, we'll see. Well, this is why I end up going to Starbucks, because I don't know what's happening now. I'm pressing the module, it's boiled the water, it's flashing how many ounces you want, so let's just do six. And then, oh, 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 something's happening, something's happening. We might have done it, maybe. It's quite good, actually, you can select how many ounces of water you want, or well, how much you want so you have it quite strong and condensed or you can have it quite you know big probably should have picked a bigger one but it's working we're getting there we're getting coffee coffee's coming out we're, we're doing well we're doing well i ain't gonna make great i'm not gonna be a good barista at starbucks am i but we're getting there we're getting there okay so really i should have gone for like eight or ten ounces that's only half a cup but Plenty of uh, creamer in there, we'll be good to go. The girls won't know, I think. Here she is. How was it, Laura? Oh. <clears throat> How was what? Your coffee. Oh, sick. Is it nice? I love vanilla cream. Absolutely love it. If I could get that in England, I'd be in big See, I don't think it was, the, it was my skills that made it so nice, not the vanilla cream. I'm just working on mum's ear. vanilla cream. You know, I've had an email from Starbucks. Yeah. And they're trying to poach me as a barista. Honestly, Arby? yeah, they saw my uh, Instagram the other day making a coffee and it was oh, doing. Okay. So like well, when, when they see this, so there'll be a war between Starbucks, Costa, Prata Manga. They'll all be at war. We have to have to me, honestly, yeah. Have to say. Yeah. yeah. I don't wait with machines all by hand. 
pick the beans, crush the beans, all of that, yeah. That's what makes that what that's what makes the taste difference is the 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 way it's so hand done. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so it's a little bit later now. I've done all our filming and we are off to Animal Kingdom yes, for a little bit, aren't we? I'm excited. I do love Animal Kingdom. We're all yeah. very hungry, so we're hopefully going to try and get Nyak and Yeti for lunch. Something yeah. different. I fancy a curry know. or something different. that's not burgers or yeah. Yeah, bacon we or pancakes or waffles. I want yeah. something. I would like an ice curry to go nicely. Yeah, I want to try that curry. See I feel we, bad, yeah. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. Here we go then, first ride of the day, and it is a tram. Tram going in, and then once we're in, I'm going to have a look on the app and try and get a little bit of a re return time for Yak and Yeti for lunch. All right, jump on. Write that down. That's the tier. Right, 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 right. Disney, hold on that there. Not. Or use that parking location if we don't mind Disney experience. Now that is brought to you by the one, the only, the world famous Jay from State Farm. That's right. Keep that in yourself. And want to be to let you know that that parking location feature. That's Butterfly 119. Always wear a little picture. For your safety. Remain seated with the doors closed, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside while the tram is moving. And supervise your children. Thank you. Para su seguridad, favor de permanecer sentados con las puertas cerradas, manteniendo sus manos, brazos, pies y piernas adentro mientras el tranvía esté en movimiento. Y vigilen a sus niños. Gracias. Yeah, oh, here we go then, all that music on again. Only this time we've got some lovely blue skies as we head in. If you remember earlier in the trip, it was lashing down and raining and miserable when we came in at Animal Kingdom, but gorgeous day today. So we're gonna hopefully head for a little bit of a bite to eat. Might try and do a bit of fighter passage. We might also try and do Kilimanjaro safaris today as well, since it's a nice day, chill on that. See some animals, we'll have a bit of a wild day. Well, as soon as we come in, I wonder why everyone was taking pictures of. It's the really cool tree woman. She blends in, but she was hiding with one of the trees there. She blends in so well, so different. Cool, isn't it? Really cool. You want your picture there, aren't you? You've, got, you've come prepared in your Animal Kingdom shirts, haven't you? Both of you, look. Very Animal Kingdom. Go on, Dad, you're in. Off you go, go on both of you, in you go. Well, a quacker start to the day. Here you go. Look who's on yet another adventure. Yes, it's the famed billionaire explorer, Scrooge McDuck. With his loyal pilot and travel... Well, the tree of life and just everything in this park looks even better with the sunshine and blue skies. So we're uh, made up to be back today. Giving a little, another little go around. So yeah, we're gonna head straight to Yak and Yeti. I just fancied something a bit more, you know, curry or something a bit more flavorful and that, a bit done in with bacon and burgers and pancakes and syrup and all that. Just fancied something a bit different. So Yak and Yeti, a good call. We loved it last time we went, me and Laura. And it's a, it's a 10 minute walk up wait, it says now on the app, so that's fine. You can actually clock in for that wait on the app, but you've got to be a bit closer. Uh, so once I get a bit closer to the restaurant, I'll try and clock in that we're in the line and queuing up. Look at the tree of life there. The water fountain really stands out today. The sun bouncing off it. And then, yeah, I think we're gonna go and try and do the Kilimanjaro Safari as well. So this is new to this park that I'm aware of. It wasn't here last time, last trip anyway. They've got the bows or boughs, the candle making. So you can make a candle in here, same as at Disney Springs. So you can sit and make a cool candle, pick your own colors, do your own design on the glass, put your own fragrances in or you can just buy a lot of these fragrances which all smell like the resorts and the rides here 
There's one that smells like Soaring, one that smells like Pandora. Laura loves these diffusers here. Clover World is one of the ones that is known to smell like uh, one of the rides. So we've joined the queue for uh, Yak and uh, Yeti. It's 45 minutes and dad was after a tea and mum was after a coffee. So we popped into Starbucks to get them a drink. Then Yak and Yeti time and then Kilimanjaro Safaris, I think. And then you might make a candle. We might do something else, we'll see. Yeah, you've been eyeing it up in Disney Springs yeah. for a while, haven't you? Yeah. It'd be nice doing it in here. Yeah. Nice to set in, I think. Yeah, nice on the outside, listen to all the kids go by the music. Yeah. It'd be nice. Get your artist side out of yeah. you. What have you gone for then, Laura? I've gone for a salted caramel cream cold brew. I didn't fancy a hot drink. I fancy the cold it's drink. It's not like so you, it's have a cold brew. Oh. They're meant to be quite strong, the brews. I'll try it. See what you See, think. Yeah. Mum, got yourself some new ears in the meantime. Yes. Yeah. Got a coffee, came out yeah. new ears. <laughs> they grew. They grew. As she was walking down the Animal Kingdom Avenue. They're the first we've seen. I've not seen them before this trip. It's the first time I've seen them. They're lovely. They're lovely. Um, I think they're brand new ears, them. Not seen them anywhere. Desperate yeah. for a caramel straw. But I've got one left and I'm saving it. Well, I've got news for you. Apparently, oh. someone posted up in the group on Facebook. On. You can buy packs of them in Aldi. Really? Yeah, packs of those straws in Aldi. Now, you have to look uh, for them. The cookie straws leave. are in Aldi. Packs of them. I'm in there when I go home. Yeah. There you go. How's your brew then, Laura? Go on. Nice, to be fair. Yeah. It is nice, yeah. Like you said, strong, but I don't mind a strong coffee. Yeah, the brews, if you're thinking of trying them, they're very, very strong, the brews. Yeah, nice though. Nice yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. I could have there's so many posting in the group about straws and Starbucks <laughs> straws. I can't couldn't tell you. I'll have to find it and I'll let you know. I'll let you know. But anyone who's tried them. No, they look similar to the Starbucks one. They posted a picture, yeah. So you've come dressed for the occasion, Dad. All you need is a pair of Mickey ears now. No, well, you know, you have to be careful. Because when you step out into a Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Epcot, or any Disney park, you might just find a pair of ears sprouting on your head. Well, <laughs> I think it suits a little cheeky pair, you know. Oh, Mum wants me to get that black bowler hat with ears on. I'm no, you, on. You'd, you'd be better suited with the Mickey, the goofy cap. The goofy cap. With no, the ears and that. No, I'm not doing a boat goofy cap. I don't like things on my head, but I do need something because I burn so easy. Nice. I'm only just getting over the burn I got last what? On nine, the first day? Yeah, yeah, first day. Well, yeah, I, I'm sure I bought you a nice comfy on cloud, dead thin cap. You did? It's in Tenerife. Good move. <laughs> well done, played that well, didn't you? <laughs> Love all the blossom. Yeah, so many colours going on. I just think it's lovely just walking around in this temperature. You're not necessarily wanting to jump on rides or... It's not too hot today. It's lovely and warm, but not like too warm. If it was a few more degrees, then you'd be talking a bit too hot. It's 74, 5-ish. Very comfortable. And a little breeze. Yeah, our dad did like that one, wouldn't you? Look what he's uh, drawn there. Oh, let me see. Is that, is that my hero? That's your hero. Let me go and see. Heisenberg. I like, like to see. <laughs> Walter White. I love it. <laughs> Dad loves Breaking Bad. You're both looking very Animal Kingdom. Aren't we just looking at Dad cut his own hair today, though. Can you tell? Because he's got a lovely big long tuft here. Oh, I was so careful as well. He cuts his own hair, which I'm not, not too it's sure about. You know, there's tufts going on. Okay. You just completely missed your ears. So People are watching this in 4K, you know what I mean? Is there an animal groomer's here? Where they trim the I know, I mean, they do with the nostril hair and the ear hair. I need a full Monty, you know what I, I mean? Did, I did my eyebrows. Oh my word. <laughs> Let's do that again. What's going on here? Look at all them. Oh, do you have to have a full on inspection? Yes, yeah, it's 4K. There's people are watching this in the living rooms in 4K. They need a good clock. That's all right, we'll do mum next. Right, mum, let's see what's going on here. Look, come on, Laura, let's see what's going on. <laughs> oh, well. You know, what can I say? <laughs> I, I have actually, I ran out of hairspray and I've switched to like this uh, gel wax, old spice gel wax. 
which it's kind of staying up and it stays nice and soft but it feels weird not being like crispy I don't know whether I like like you know the waxy oh, you feel you like the crispy feel yeah I don't know whether it looks because it doesn't look very wet look anymore but it is kind of staying up yeah. if that makes sense so maybe, I don't know I'm unsure no I did this morning yeah it doesn't really I don't know I don't know whether to switch to wax or stick with my hairspray. My hairspray ran out, so I didn't want to buy another tin of it, so I ended up getting a bit of wax instead. Oh, this girl's holding their graduation hat. Yeah, you know, Dad, that's the hat you want there, that Mickey one that he's got on. That. That'll keep you dead cool, your head I, won't burn. I'm not walking around with a mouse head on my head. <laughs> there is a limit. I think maybe you just let us pick you a hat and surprise you. <laughs> okay. I might do a little bit of a challenge at some point this week. Yeah. Like a ten or twenty dollar challenge, and we each have like ten or twenty dollars. Yeah. And you've got to buy, got to buy each person like a souvenir or something. Right. In the parks, how much can you get with ten dollars? Something along them lines. I'm still working it out. Okay. Still thinking about it. You can't get much. I don't know what the limit would be. We'll have a think. Well, right. Like a, like a secret Disney. Yeah, as opposed to a secret I don't know. I do like those tops as well. Let's get wild. They're good fun. You can get all kinds on Etsy and stuff now. Before you come. People come up with different designs that aren't even released by Disney. But they just do their own on Etsy and stuff. So always good stuff to find on there. If you want to be uh, well in advance and pre-plan. Have a little mooch on there. Supporting a little local business as well. Right, into Asia we go. I am so ready for a bit of a curry or a something, you know. It isn't burger, bacon, pancakes, waffles. Oh, she's just having a little drink, chilling down there. That was me with my coffee a minute ago. Yeah. Here we go then, Yak and Yeti. So I did all sign up. I've waited half an hour, so let's go in and ask what's happening with the table. So I'm not quite sure what's going on. Well, hey, so that worked well. We would just walk straight up. I said I checked in 30 minutes or so ago and he was like, yeah, here we go. Straight to a table. And here is the menu. Taste the riches. That looks nice. It's all different taste stuff. So these are like big taster menus. We've got Pad Thai, Dragon Roll Bowl, Japanese Tuna, Lamb there, Dad. Himalayan lamb shank, slow braise for 24 hours, marinated, red wine, lamb demi glaze, roasted tomatoes, dried plum de criot apricots. That sounds up your, and it comes, it comes with a naan bread, Dad. That's right up your street, that. Korean salmon and shrimp, tuna nachos, fried wontons. Ugh, pumpkin spice coconut creme brulee. No, we don't do that. Oh, cocktails. Monkey business. Okay, so that's like a specialist menu. Then here's Laura looking at the main menu here. So you got small plate soup, salad, bang bang calamari, Korean fried chicken. Ooh, sounds nice. Chicken tikka masala, yeah, is what I had. It's probably going to have it again different wok dishes as well honey chicken in the wok that sounds nice that sounds amazing yeah uh, did i have that but i had to put the tempura what's thai basil chicken as well uh, some nice stuff on here different speciality drinks as well what was the speciality drink i had last time i'm sure i had one Ooh, i can't know. remember what it was now. i think i had a slush or something is there anything on the back yeah. oh, here's all the different wines souvenir cups non-alcoholic drinks as well oh, I'm looking forward to this I think I'm gonna go for the curry or oh, that chicken sounds good as well yeah, you might like that honey this chicken. honey chicken tossed in honey sauce tempura chicken Korean beef as well I bet you that's nice or oh, you've got the chicken tikka masala as well Okay, here we go then. So we've got my chicken tikka masala with the rice and an arm bread. Laura's got the same, gluten-free. Yeah. What's this then, Laura? Well, I did all the stir-fried vegetables. Was come out as noodles because I was expecting what your mum's got. Yeah. Stir-fried veg, noodles still... in there, yeah. yeah. 
Dad, what have you gone for? The honey chicken is that? Honey chicken. That looks lovely with brown rice. With um, chicken fried rice, actually. That looks really good, that. Yeah. Nice. And what have you got there, Mum? Teriyaki chicken. Teriyaki looking good as well, chicken breast. Yeah, marinated chicken breast. Oh, nice, very nice indeed. I'm excited to dig into this. Also got those speciality um, non-alcoholic cocktails. Nice, but doesn't really taste the much, does it? It does, it's really nice actually, but yeah, I am expecting a bit more from the Yeah, it's just a bit like Sprite with a little bit of cherry cordial, nothing to uh, write home about. But this curry will be, this is gonna be gorgeous. I've got fries on the way as well. If you don't dip your chips or fries in your curry, then I don't know. Yeah, you've got to be done. You've got to have chips with your curry. Well, a little update is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. Good level of spice. Oh, yeah. Laura's mixing gorgeous. all hairs in. Yeah, I like all mixed together. You like it separate, don't you? Yeah, that's, that's got a real nice spice to it. But I want to know as well, in the comments, do you have chips with your curry? Yes. You've got to have chips to dip in. Even fries, I've got fries on the way, it's got to be done. How are you getting on there, Dad, with your uh, honey chicken? Really nice. Mum, do you over there? Amazing. Nice. Good. We're all happy then. Wait a little while, it's been uh, spot on. Oh, here come the fries, thank you very much. Here you go, look at that. Can't wait to dip them in now. Oh. Lovely meal in uh, Yak and Yeti there, really enjoyed that curry for a change, needed that. Just a nice bit of spice, bit oh, of. We'll have some of it as well. Yeah, something different. The drink was nothing to rave about, um, but no, it was nice. Did the job, certainly did the job. Something other than a burger and all that. We're now going to head to Everest, which is only a 20 minute wait, and then we're going to go and do the safari. The, the parks are much, much quieter this week, it seems. Really have dropped off, which is good. Wait times are all a lot more back to normal. So avoid the winter break week, definitely. Yeah, look at this view. It's going to come into fruition in a second. Our view of Everest. You can hear the screaming already. Little ride on this, and then we can chill on the safari then and let our dinner go down. It's probably not advisable to go straight on this uh, after a big tikka masala with naan bread in the works. But, uh, yeah, you never know. Might get to see your dinner twice. Oh, lovely. Twice. Double value. Double value when you see it twice. It's like having it all over again. Oh, that's <laughs> oh dear. As long as you don't share your dinner second time with someone else. Okay, so we're going to try single rider on Everest today. It's a 20 minute normal wait. Thank you. We're going to try single rider. Let's see if this see. is any quicker. Oh, this see. doesn't look bad. This is the single rider line here. This isn't long at all. You do get plenty of single riders on this. With them only being two seats, I find you do get. Plenty get called through single riders. I think this is going to be quick. What time is it now? Five to four. Let's have a look. Yeah, four minutes to four. Let's see how long this takes to get on. So we won't be riding together. We're all just going to meet outside on the front. I always find it quite quite funny when you're with a stranger because they always. Have oh, you always try and wind them up, especially yeah. if they've never done it before. Yeah, he starts going on about how scary it is oh, yeah, and all kinds. Absolutely. I, I like the first question. Have you done this before? No. Oh, what are you doing here? <laughs> I love it. You love, you imagine, doing, right? imagine getting on your on your ride and you're sat Garby. next to Garvey. <laughs> sat next to Dad, look at him with his wacky shirt on. Have you done this before? I don't know if they have ridden it before. So, oh, yeah, yeah, I've ridden it before. Have you ever ridden it when it stops? When you're going backwards? And you're stuck for half an hour? That's just mean. You're mean, you are. I just let the go. No. Oh, <laughs> you don't want to do that. <laughs> you are mean. You are mean. Looking forward to this? I am on the Everest. Yeah. I'm making the line not long. Do you know what I'm looking forward to the most? The bit I'm looking forward to the most on this is not having to ride with Laura. <laughs> oh, I, I just say. can't wait. Yeah. Anyone will do. Anyone. But you. <laughs> so here you go, it's now. What time is it? 59. Dad's already gone. He's already on. Look, he's over there. Look. Oh, okay, here we go. I'm on as well. Enjoy. <laughs> here we go. Right. That was quick. Very quick. So Laura's on this train as well. Laura's there. I'm here and Dad's there. All of us are on within three minutes. 
three, four, well, probably five minutes by the time we get on. Not bad going at all, that is it. Really good going. And we're all pretty much going to be on the same train, nearly. There goes Dad, look at him. in the sunshine and the blue skies. Hey. Hey. Ah, we should get some good views up this next lift hill. Oh, here we go. Well, we've just come off, fantastic ride. You were on the one before us. I noticed we took ages to get going, yeah, didn't yeah. we, me and you? Go on. <laughs> you know where it goes up and the track runs out? Yeah. And it stops. Yeah. And then it judders and all that. Yeah. It just went, bump, stop. You jinx that, because you said uh, about right. go. You said about so it. The guy next to me is like, is this normal? No. <laughs> what happens next? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, it took eight. I know it took said, ages yeah, for us to get going. Yeah. Well, what so you jinx that, we're, saying, we're, "Oh yeah, we're, I'll tell him if it's it stopped. Are we going to go through? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and it did. It just eventually it, it went. Just, then I heard the car back going. Ah, uh, right, right. it was all a bit but just we delayed. A good, yeah. You, we, yo, you were. We were sat in the station and ready to go station. for ages. So you're on the station. I'm on a slope like that, and I'm strapped in so tight I can't breathe, and I'm thinking. Don't panic. Don't panic. Well, you jinxed so, that. So, so I was thinking, I'll let him panic. You jinxed that. <laughs> yeah, Good ride, though. Oh, I couldn't do oh, it again now. I'd no, see me lunch no, again. No, no, no. Good, though. Excellent. Right, oh, gotta go and find Mum now. Oh. Where is Mum? Let's go and find her. Good ride, that, though. Enjoyed that. And we ended up on the same train. Yeah. And, and we technically so, could have swapped and gone together. I know so. We I was only waited 10 minutes or even that. You know when I watched that? Stuff? Five minutes it was. Five I was thinking, minutes. there's got to be worse places I could be stuck. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking of the Lost Coaster. I will find more. Was... And then we've got a chilled ride now, a little safari. Go and yeah. see some animals. I enjoy the safari. How good is this weather? I know. I wish oh, we had this the first few days. I really do. I can't speak highly enough of the difference between the summer months 
and this now. Yeah, oh, this is heaven. This is the perfect temperature. Blue skies, comfortable shorts, t-shirt. You're not sweating everywhere. You're not cold. You're yeah. running in and out the shops for aircon. Yeah, no, I need a little bit of a cool down. None yeah. of that. You can just keep going and going. But then you come out the shop and you're thinking, oh no, I've got to face it again. Yeah, it almost makes it worse <laughs> going in and out of the shops. I don't. She said somewhere around here. That's why I'm looking. Mum said somewhere around here. She might want to lose us, but we don't want to lose her. Okay, so as we make a move across to the safari, I'm going to answer some of your questions from Instagram, as I always like to do. Fill in a little bit of the time. Now, what? we've got a question from one of our subscribers here. I'll say the name in a second because I can't see it just now. Uh, she's put here. Uh, we bought a two-week ticket for Universal through Orlando through attraction tickets. Uh, do you just pay the difference to upgrade to a fair annual pass? Yes. So if you go to the guest services at the park, give them give in your pass, tell them what you've got, and then tell them you want to upgrade, and they will tell you the price difference. Um, I think the two-week pass normally about four hundred quid or something, isn't it? So whatever the difference is, is what you pay and just upgrade. Uh, what's the difference between premium and preferred? Um, it's the amount of discount that you get from merchandise and products. Uh, it's also uh, the ability to go and do the early entry, the early access. And it can also, if you go for the lower tier one, you don't get the free parking. But I think you do get it with premier, I think. Uh, just double check and ask them uh, the differences. It should state it on the website as well, what the differences are. Uh, but yes, you just take your tickets, tell them you'd like to upgrade. Uh, if you're thinking of upgrading, do it at the start of your holiday because you'll be able to get discounts on anything you buy and also the free parking. So if you're thinking of doing it, maybe even do it on your first day. And that was uh, Claire, Claire Leckenby, I think it was. How's it going, Claire? Make sure you upgrade. You can't beat being an annual pass holder. Next question. Why? Jack has asked, hi Jack, how's it going? Uh, why do you call Dad Garvey? I call him Mick Garvey because he looks like the character on Benidorm. Uh, that's why I call him Mick Garvey. His name's actually Paul, but uh, that's why I call him Mick Garvey because he looks like the character on Benidorm. If you've seen that show uh, in the UK, I'm going to say a big hello to anyone watching in Australia and Canada as well. We've got so many people now, uh, so many subscribers and viewers uh, tuning in from Australia, believe it or not. Wow, how's it going over there down under? And also in Canada as well, where it's freezing at the moment. So, uh, hello everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, next question. Do, 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 do. Uh, Sophie Davis has asked, what is your favourite fireworks show? It's definitely got to be the one at Magic Kingdom that we saw last night. Definitely. Followed by the new one at Epcot. Really good as well. But uh, yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be the Magic Kingdom fireworks. Definitely is uh, the winner with that one. Let's do one more question. What is your favourite song to get on Guardians? Um, everybody wants to rule the world, I think, or oh, September. They're the two best ones, but I think everybody wants to uh, rule the world is the best. Right, so we're heading to Africa, so we're going to turn right here. And the safari is just coming up. I love these guys on the right. If you get a chance to watch these, I think we've just missed it. But these here, when they play the drums and everything, is awesome. If you get a chance to watch this, do it. They've uh, just finished taking pictures now, but these are brilliant. The musicians get everyone dancing and it's a really, real good, uh, feel good as you walk in the park here. I'll try and catch them later. They are great fun. Right, Kilimanjaro safaris. Let's go and see some animals. So just to show you, the safari is a 10 minute wait. When do you ever see this as a 10 minute wait? Insane. Now it is the middle of the day, it is hot, so we're going to probably see less animals. A lot of them do hide away a little bit uh, when it's hot. The best time to do this is early in the morning or when it's cool or when it's raining. But we'll still see plenty. Ten minutes, that's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I didn't see our first animal layer off to the right hand side, and it's going to be a mother son duo there with the Okapi. 
looks like baby boy has his head in a log and his mom's over there by the bamboo. Now these are the Okapi. Baby boy is he's less than a year old. But now the Okapi, while they may look like a zebra because of the stripes on their legs, they're actually a close relative of the giraffe. And in fact, the Okapi is going to be one of the only close relatives of the giraffe. Now the Okapi is also a very shy and reclusive forest animal. As I like to say, they're really just more of introverts instead of extroverts. But now they're on the right hand side. Looks like they built a nice nest. You'll see they, the, well, the head of the set of built sort. Looks like she's laying down in her nest. They're on the right hand side. That is a saddle built stork in her nest. Now, the saddle built storks, they get their name from their bill. You gotta look at that bill. You'll see a yellow coloring on it, which is the shape of a saddle like the kind that you would use to ride a horse. But now, saddle built storks, unlike a lot of other birds, they do not communicate through vocalization. Instead, they actually communicate through the rattling of their bills. Now bongos, they get the nickname as the ghost of the forest, and that's because they are rarely seen. In fact, the first picture of a bongo was actually taken in 1980, so they're going to be a pretty new one you. Now these are going to be the Nile crocodiles. And one reason that they, the crocodiles have their mouths open like that is because they don't have any sweat glands. So having their mouth open allows them to regulate their body temperature. does a mean wild beast. And wild beast, they do like to travel together. And they travel in a herd known as a confusion. And those confusions, they can be as big as 1.5 million during the Great Migration right out here in Africa. Now wild beast, they do start walking pretty quickly afterward. In fact, a wildebeest can start walking in 15 minutes after birth. Oh, it's a very uh, shaky bag today. The only the giraffe that I've ever seen here off to the left hand side. Someone up on the left. Uh, oh, yeah, there are these giraffes. Oh, yeah, they're all. Looks like we got a whole tower here because a group of giraffes is known as a tower. Because they are indeed the tallest animals in the world, reaching heights between about 16 to 20 feet tall. Now, out here on the reserve, all the giraffes, they are Maasai giraffes. And we know that from the shape of their spots. The spots on the Maasai giraffe, they're pretty rough along the edges and pretty bumpy, which is how this type of giraffe is going to be identified. And it looks like, oh, yep, looks like the flamingos are here. Uh, now, these are going to be greater flamingos. And a group of flamingos is known as a flamboyant. Now, flamingos, they do get their pink coloring from the shrimp that they do eat. Shrimp contains something called beta carotene, which does give them their nice little pinkish look. It's also the same thing that's found in carrots. If you eat too many carrots, you turn a little orange. That's the same thing that makes flamingos their pink color. Now, flamingos, they do have a pretty unique way of sleeping, and they do sleep by standing up in one one leg. Oftentimes we'll see them switch legs every now and then. That's just done a lot with temperature regulation. Hi. They're identified from the shape of their mouth. Fly right up and they have a more wide shaped mouth. Which they love to use to grab yeah, things such as plants. But hey, look, there's a cheetah right there off to the left hand side as well. It's going to be kind of in that center between the trees. And Laying down. Now that is a cheetah. And a group of cheetahs is known as a coalition. And cheetahs, they are indeed the fastest land mammals in the world, reaching speeds as fast as 60 miles per hour in just three seconds. That's all Now while they can't go very fast, they cannot go very fast for very long. Coming over to city. Hello. Now, ostriches, they are very fast animals and they can reach these as fast as 40 miles per hour, making them the fastest animals on two legs. There the lions are. Looks like they're both sleeping, looking at each other. 
That's very cute. Oh, big stress. Oh, no, she said major look, major look. I'm going to turn the other way. Now, lions, they are nocturnal animals. They do sleep during the day and hunt during the nighttime. Which is why we really don't see them do much more than sleep right now. Now, a group of lions is called a prize to stay back and protect any cubs. Those are the warthogs. Now, warthogs, they are close relatives of the domestic pig. And we do know that these warthogs are young warthogs because their tusks haven't fully developed yet. Now, warthogs, they get the nickname as the real estate agents of the savannah. The Nigerian dwarf goats. And these dwarf goats, along with the Akuli cattle we saw earlier, they are the only two domesticated animals here on the oh. reserve. Oh, well, I know that these goats, they are short, but they're actually fully grown adult goats. They are just going to be dwarf goats. They are going to be a little bit shorter. And ladies and gentlemen, let's lay on up and go on a while in a great day. Thank you. Well, it was a good little ride. I definitely recommend doing it in the morning time when it's a bit uh, more animals it's around. Yeah, much better in the morning. However, we did see loads of animals. So plenty. You did get thrown around a little bit. It does it's chuck a, you about. It is, it is a bone shaker. But yeah. It's meant to be like I know, but if you've got yeah, a bad back reality. or something, you have to be a little bit careful. Yeah, I love when the ostrich came right up yeah. to us. That was good fun, yeah. I was yeah. waiting for them to start pecking at someone because they known for that. That would have been funny. Yeah. There is a unique narration right through, I think. Yeah, well, each tribe is different. <laughs> They've all got different accents, different ways of talking, yeah. and all of that. And it all adds, adds to it. It all adds yeah. to, the, to the theme of it. And that was good fun. It's nice to yeah. do it at Sunset Town. We've got on one of the last ones. It was closing. Um, now, Avatar's about a 30 odd, 35 minute wait, which is really low at this time. Yeah. I think a lot of people are heading out, it seems. A lot of the wild animal stuff does all close at 5.15, so that's in about 15 minutes. So. Yeah. I think a lot of people head out once all that closes. Bear that in mind, if you want to do any wild animal stuff or see the animals, a lot of that, all that closes at 5.15. Yeah. I think we have a little restroom break. Well, I was yeah. going to say, I a little drink the, the most common attraction in Disney. The restroom. restroom. Now, <laughs> did you know? What's special about the restrooms in this park? Well, they're not what the animals use them. Ding, ding. <laughs> Come on. Now I don't know. Is all the water recycled? You've only got 30 seconds recycled to answer. Water. Water so many of you will be shouting at the TV screen now. Come on, what's special about the, the, the restrooms in, in Animal Kingdom alone? There's no music. No, 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 no. I don't know. Come on. You'll know it. You'll be annoyed when you don't, when you don't tell me. I've told everyone on the vlogs before. These are the only restrooms that have doors to them. So that if the animals escaped, you can go into the restrooms and lock yourself in. Here we have here, you know, one of the Disney. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're talking about toilets. I'm about the, the main restroom doors where you go in. They normally don't have doors. In Animal Kingdom, they do. I think maybe they pull out as well, so you, so you can close it, and then they can't, the animals can't get in. Because if you add it. So trust me, Google it, Google it. It will tell you this. The only and they've done it just in case if something did escape or something, people can go in the, into the restrooms. Well, can you imagine if one of the lions, leopards, escaped? Well, I, I wouldn't like to. No, no but I wouldn't like to. Fun fact of the day: that you can Google it. You can test it. I believe you. Yeah, you know, you're all for this, aren't you? So you go to your restroom, use the door when you're opening. Think of you know that fun fact you've just learned. I can just imagine having a great day and then. An alarm going off. There's a lion loose. Get in the toilets. <laughs> I know. And then we're just sitting I in mean, the I don't know how everyone course. would fit in the restrooms, like. But there you go. Yeah. You know, they have a door on University them. of Challenge. Andrew Knight from the University of Life studying all things Disney. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd still fail miserably. There's so much stuff I don't know. Yeah. Oh my word! I know about ten percent of what's to be known. Well, right. To restrooms. I'd like a cold drink as well. Fancy yeah, a little yeah, Powerade or something. Right, I'm going to go in the rest in the shop, and you go the restroom, Dad. I'm not sure. They'll have a door on, no, don't forget. <laughs> Open the door. So I've got a drink, but I also got a uh, Mickey Premium bar as well. Dad, here you go. Thank you. Hey, <laughs> get on that. Lovely. Did you not want one, Mum? Yeah, thank you. No. I couldn't eat that and then do do Pandora. I'm not I'd feel ill. I'm not on plain chocolate. I don't do dark chocolate, only milk, I'm afraid. <laughs> That's pretty accurate, that, isn't it? Yeah. 
pretty good impression that, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, I'm McCurvy, look at my ice cream here, look, way. That's you. Best, isn't it? Best ever, that, isn't it? Look sure. at this for an ice cream. <laughs> the best is if you eat the ears first. You, oh, you have to eat the ears first. And then you, you, you take away the chocolate from the outside, then you munch in. Munch in. And then you have to suck the stick till it's bone dry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot find the restroom. The Look for the doors. Oh. You enjoying yourself there? Here's a question for Disney. Do you love someone enough to let them bite the ears off your Mickey bar? No. That's a big ass that. To give someone your ears off a Mickey bar. It's just a big no-no. Now you're eating his cheeks now. <laughs> Just come into the sweet shop to see what there is. You've got the hippo marshmallow pop there. They look good, don't they? Different cupcakes. I've just had my ice cream, but also that rice crispy bar looks pretty nice as well, doesn't it? You've got the giant Mickey cookies, quite good value still. $6.50. It's quite a big cookie, isn't it? Yeah. Um, not particularly that I want, I've just had a Mickey bar though, but you might want something. And then more different merch. I do like that Mickey one. It's still here from last time. I like that with the uh, like Animal Kingdom pattern on it. Dad, don't forget to open the door. Someone's knocking on the door. Someone's ringing the bell. <laughs> right, just waiting for Dad to go to the loo. You ready? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Made your flinch though, didn't I? I the lid was off and everything, look. Hey! Whoa! Mum's dancing away, loving the music. We're still waiting for Dad. I think he's stuck behind the door. Stop it! Stop it! No, stop! Stop! Ah, that, that tickles. No, 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 it's not funny now. It's not funny now. Here he comes. Oh, stop. You're all tickling me. Stop. Stop, there's a truck behind you. There's a truck behind you. Now a pram. Watch, watch, there's a pram. Stop. Stop it now. Stop now. That's it. Stop now. That's it. That's it. No, it's like tickle Andrew time. Party, party. I'm getting off. I'm getting off. Whoa, go away. Avatar Squirrel just chilling. Here he is. Just chilling. Not a bad place to live, is it, in Avatar? Not a bad place to live in Pandora. One thing I always surprised at, wouldn't you think Pandora Jewelry would have sponsored Pandora? They sponsor the fireworks at Magic Kingdom. Wonder if they try to do a little sponsorship, a little sponsorship in Pandora. They could have done some exclusive little Pandora themed charms and stuff, couldn't yeah, they? Could have. could have done some really good, what a little banshee and stuff like that. Yeah, and like a whole blue blue range. Yeah, they could have done a good little sponsorship. Yeah. Pandora sponsored by Pandora. Yeah. What are you crying for? No, it's, it's not been that bad of a day, has it? <laughs> Your dancing wasn't that bad. <laughs> Right, let's jump on, it's only half an hour. And that'll be the last ride of the day, I think. Did you, how did you, I noticed you took a long time, just struggled with the doors. Heavy. Very Aren't heavy, they? you have to actually Told really you. push, yeah. Told you, oh, yeah. heavy right. doors. And there's even a, a proper lock, lock on it, yeah. Maybe they lock you in as well. There you go. Which is scary. But um, hopefully they've never had to use them. I don't think so, it's just a precaution. But it could happen. Oh, you might get a wild Garvey running around. <laughs> You've really got to lock yourself in then. I like, I like one of them from the garden centre, the blue... Uh, Be good. Uh, and you know what? They look so realistic. It'd be like that all yeah. year round. I'm You'd love it, wouldn't you? That pink one there. A couple of nice. them yeah. in the garden. On the rockery.
soon you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. You've all got them. <laughs> but don't worry, uh, they're very common around these parts. Uh, let's start the decon. Initiating GMR decon. Stand still over your number, you're not going to feel a thing. Now let's go over how all this works. Like I said before, you're going to be matched to these things called Jackie Ogden. She leads our science team, which is part of the Pandora Conservation Initiative, and we're here in the Valley of Moara studying banshees and their and uh fly. Let's watch this piece by Dr. Ogden, who runs the program. Welcome everyone. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. Stow your gear in the storage containers on the back wall. This should include all bags, cameras, and other items, including cell phones. It's important to push them all the way into the bin. Then get onto the chair as you would a bike. Straddle the seat, step forward, and sit down. Slide your hips forward until you are against the chest pad, and then move your feet all the way forward. Wait until you're seated before you put on your flight visors. Hold onto the hand grips as shown. It's important to hold on to the hand grips at all times. After you're seated, back and leg restraints will be firmly engaged. For your safety, throughout this entire experience, always remain seated and supervise your children. Once the link takes place, you'll be connected to your avatar and sitting on the back of a Necron. It'll feel like you're really there. Moments later, you'll begin your flight. A Navi guide will lead you Some out. Of this flight might be intense, but trust your guide and be brave. As the Navi say during this important rite of passage, Steve Ho, rise to the challenge. Well, that was a really good ride, and I think it seemed to have just topped up all the smells and the spray and everything was all spot on. The water kept was there very strong today, and the smells, I think they've topped up all the little scents. You got quite a lot of water, I've didn't got you? Quite a lot of water. When the whale comes up and the wave came over, and then the water falls, yeah, I've never had. And the smells were there. The smell, yeah, the smells are really prominent. Enjoy that. Well, I, uh, my, my seat was better than last time. Oh, and my creature better. You could hear him breathing, and you, and you could feel the feeling. I think you pick up on different things every time you do it. Well, mine yeah. seemed out of breath. It yeah. was <laughs> pumping away there. No. I think oh, you I'm pick awesome. up on different things each yeah. time. I think also I, I convinced myself to relax, and it was just even more enjoyable. Yeah. You know, take the drops, take the water, take the smells, just let it all sink in. Yeah, did you notice the smells were strong on that today? I think they just topped it all up, hadn't they? It's the quickest four and a half minutes. Yeah, four and a half minutes goes fast. Goes so fast. You just want another four and a half, don't you? Brilliant, that. Yeah, you don't realise how long the ride is because it doesn't feel like that at all. But there's so many elements to that ride. Yeah. When you first get up there and you're Necron and you're just flying around. Necron? Necron? What, what is it? Ecron. 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 Necron. 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 Sounds like a dodgy bit, like a fake version of a Nikon camera. Like. I don't think. <laughs> then the orange one, Ecron, tries to attack yeah, so you have to get away from it. Why does the orange one come in and attack the territory maybe no, and then we have to hide and it goes all dead calm you like that bit don't you when it goes yeah, in the dark bit. And nice and well the best selfie you'll get in disney world is the view of yourself looking down at the little screen before it starts and you've got like six chins and you're questioning the old burgers and hot dogs and Starbucks you've had. You, you start to question you. Well, it was most you just... definitely a shock the first time I saw it. Yeah, you look down, you've got like six chins. Have a look. The little picture comes up at the very start. Oh, you know, best selfie you'll see in there. But for someone who might be a little bit uneasy, do you feel comfortable on those bikes? A lot of people worry about getting on the bikes. It's honestly, you're yeah. safe. You've got as, you've got to hit replacements and that, and you find it comfy, don't I'm you? Like back surgery, and, hip replacements. I'm, I'm slightly claustrophobic. And you enjoy it, yeah? So there you go. If you're I debating do, it, do take medication for blood pressure. Yeah. So no worries at all. No Good. worries. All right, we'll have a little wander out now. Then I think I think we're uh, ready to head on out. Don't think there's too much more to do today in terms of this park whether we're going to go to another park now or what we're going to do we'll see I'm looking for ideas in the hat Laura okay. 
Did you notice this part? Well, you know why your um Do you know why the scents were better and the, the water was better and the seats were better? Did you fill the containers? No. I messaged Jackie and she said oh. I'll get you on the really good seats. Oh. <laughs> I've been in touch I with Jackie know, on the WhatsApp. I know, I know she's a good friend of yours oh. and you've got her on WhatsApp, haven't you? Jackie. WhatsApp, face back, yeah. face she's just joined face TikTok. Back. Face back. It's a special version of uh Facebook for Avatar. How about I? Could I have her on Insta Talk? Insta Talk. Well, she's just started TikTok actually, Jackie. <laughs> but yeah, WhatsApp just said, can you just make sure, sure we get some really good? Yeah, and she like, said, I've topped up the scents. Don't worry, I know you're coming. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah, really good. Shout out to Jackie. Big thumbs up there. Thanks, Jackie. You are the one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Are we heading out now? What are you, what are you thinking well, now? What are you well, thinking? Well, yeah, we'll just Six o'clock. It's going okay, to take us half an hour to get to the car, isn't it? At least. I don't think that long, Dad. There's a bit of an over-exaggeration there, you're like. Well, you're getting the tram. You're it's getting the tram? Where are we? We are in Pandora. No, what? Oh, no. Oh, oh. We're in Butterfly 119. Butterfly 119. I've, I've, I've got it in my phone. And I've got my phone. For once. You got your phone? Are you sure? Are you sure? I've got this you phone. Sure? It's just, just tied well, to me Well, if you lost now. it, Jackie would WhatsApp me anyway. Well, that's true. Right. Well, while we walk to the car, have a think about what you'd like to do next. Yeah. Okay. okay. Options. Options. Um, Epcot for a little evening wander, a little drink. Epcot. Um, do Epcot for a couple of hours, then go home and have a snack at home. Okay. Or you could do Hollywood Studios for a couple of hours. Oh. Doesn't close till nine. Or Gaylords. Gaylord Palms. You want to look at that hotel, don't you? You want to have a little mooch around there. Around there. I mean. Hey, it's a majority vote here. What are you thinking, Mum? Any of those. Yeah. Well, really helpful. Thanks so much for your contribution there. Yeah, uh, any of those. Well, yeah, you can. Yeah. I was just asking what you're thinking. Yeah. Get thinking. I, I know your brain's still on the link chamber, but we'll go and get it back and get thinking, will you? I am. <laughs> Did you see how long this took? It took a while, didn't it? It was, wow. it was trying to get through the chins. It's because I was, <laughs> it's because I was thinking of Jackie so much. It was taking a while to scan <laughs> through the chins. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, it is. <laughs> so good. <laughs> uh, I enjoyed that. <laughs> right, come on, off to Jackie's. Jackie said we can pop round for a drink later as well if you want. Oh, wow. So she always likes to be out into the scenes of the office and stuff. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. And she'll sign a book for you as well. Right, okay. Okay, so as we head out, you know what's coming. It's some QA answers. Uh, so Beth has asked, what are your most overrated rides that aren't worth the queue time? I'll tell you one right now. Piece of pan in the Magic Kingdom. Yes. Do not bother waiting at all. If it's walk on, walk on. Just something to just do. But don't ever wait for it. Yeah, I wouldn't wait too long for it. In some ways, I don't know, is Slinky Dog worth 200 minutes? All those super high wait times? It's, it's in a, my opinion, nothing's worth over an hour. No, no, no. Nothing's nothing. worth over an hour, in my opinion, time. really, if you no. can avoid it. 60 minutes is just about I think, Yeah, up. most over it. I think Peter Pan, but I know it's for the little ones, but I just... It's a very dated ride. Um, in terms of Universal and stuff, overrated, overrated. long wait times, Minions. That Minions shootout was there. Yeah, but that's not got a big wait time. The actual mm. Minions ride's good, but it's not worth an hour and a half, two hours. No, not at all, not at all. So it'll probably be them too. Uh, next question, uh, which ride would you choose? Guardians, a Velocicoaster or Tron? Guardians. Guardians, yeah. Guardians, then no Velocicoaster. Hesitation. Tron is good, but far too short. Far too short. Yeah. And uh, too difficult for people to get on and off as well for certain people of certain sizes and things and fitness. Tron is just not very accessible. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, let's next. Let's see what else we've got. If you could remove one ride in Universal and replace it with one OG ride, what would they be? That's JM Finch. I would take out uh, Men in Black. Right. That's the one I'd take out. And put in what? Uh, what show? An OG ride. Like original. An original ride. Put Jaws back in maybe? Like, maybe update Jaws. Okay. No, update Jaws? Jaws is gone. I know, so you'll have to revamp it for modern day. No? Okay, an updated version of Jaws maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
What else did they take out that we liked? Earthquake was always a classic. Twister, Twister, everyone says Twister. bring Twister back as well. Yeah, that was a classic. In terms of Disney, have anything Disney removed anything that we loved? Um, not really. It's a good question, it's, isn't it? It's a very good question. I want to ask all of you that same question. What were I? Would you bring back in any of the parks? What would you bring back? I, I think I'd go for Jaws. Okay, Dad's gone for Jaws then. Um, and then Earthquake. Uh, Scarlett, would you consider staying in, in staying in different Disney hotels to be able to rate them? I'd love to do it, but it would be far too expensive. Far too expensive, very busy. You'd spend most of your holiday checking in and out. Absolutely. But yeah, it's the price. I'd love to do it and show you all. But it's the price. I mean, you'd have to wait really hard to, to come and get good rates in all the different ones. I would like to do it, but mega bucks, mega bucks. Right, that's it for now. Keep them coming. You will, I'm sure, fire away. If, you if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do. That's where we're doing these Q&A questions. Always... Here comes Mum. Now, someone asked, where are Mum's shorts from today? I know, that's what we've been doing, hanging back. I know, oh, you disappeared. <laughs> so where, where's your shirt from to start with? This Yeah. was from Neck. But it's from next year. last year and your and shorts this is either marks and spencers or next the mum shorts mum shorts mom mom shorts. Mom. Like, as in suck a mum mum suck a mum shorts it's all right. to do with the fit i Ooh. think the marks and spencers but they're two years old ah uh, a couple of is years that old like, that's um, the problem you that might like, find them on ebay what donkey used to say i like big books and i cannot lie <laughs> doing shrek quotes now <laughs> <laughs> They're from oh, M&S or next, now, that's the answer. I'm in trouble now, guys. All right, go and get on the tram. Go and see Jackie. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm reading your phone tonight to get a WhatsApp. <laughs> what fits your jaws now? <laughs> what bit are they? <laughs> well, they were three kisses. <laughs> but look at them now, G <laughs> hanging off me. They're G-Dad fit. <laughs> Granddad fit. Granddad fit. Yeah. G-Dad fit. But no, seriously, in terms of outfits, though, I'm going to touch on this, actually. You've got to wear your most comfiest outfit you can, really, around the parks. Uh, I mean, I do always still recommend these, the On Cloud Monsters. These are my third pair that I've got now. I wear them every single trip. And they've got so much, like, air space on the bottom. Mum's in On Clouds, but not the Monsters. You're in the normal ones. I like the Monsters because they've got so much air. When you stood on your feet for long, really good. They're £160. They're not cheap. But uh, I've worn them for the last three trips. I've not had a single blister, foot ache, nothing. Yeah, really I wear like them. them. Every single night I wear, I walk them. Yeah. And when I don't wear them, I notice a difference. So with these shoes, I'm wearing basic shoes. Yeah, they're today. not your best to wear today. Oh, I can notice a difference. I can feel the floor hitting it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it does really reduce the impact on the floor. So Massive. Knees, hips, everything. For long periods of time. It's good to get something with that cushion in rather than doing Yeah, you normally wear your own clouds for the uh, parks. Yeah, and Dad's really in his really sketches. These are brand new. Brand new Andrew sketches. I bought them. them. A while ago now. Slip-ons, aren't they? Yeah, I've kept them ready for a new holiday. And, and you've done it. They're so comfy. Yeah, Dad, just stand there. Just stand there. Move over a bit. There you go, just stand there. Whoa, stay. Whoa, whoa. Uh, no, you've got to come back a bit. Come back a bit. You're too far forward. Keep coming this way. This way. Whoa. Left. Oh no, no, yeah, kind of. Yeah, good pick. That's good, that. It's good for the thumbnail, yeah. Stay there. Yeah, that's about it. Don't need any glass, though. No, you're all right. It's okay. Good picture. Looking smart. In your new shoes. With the elephant in. Yeah. Yeah, the elephant. Yeah. Okay, everyone. So we want to visit Gaylord Palms, which is just over there. We did pull in, and it was forty dollars to park. Thirty-eight dollars it was. Uh, so what we've done is carried on down the road, parked in Walgreens for free. There's no restrictions on the park in here. Parked in the corner out the way, not affecting anyone. And we're going to walk down to Gaylord Palms, which is just a little walk. It's not that far. And uh, free parking. And then we can spend $38 on drinks rather than spending it on uh, parking. So that's the aim and the, the plan. 
Will that get you into uh, Gaylord Palms? Just gonna grab my phone charger. But yeah, I've just parked here in the back of the, it's actually the back of the Walgreens car park. The Walgreens park, park, park car park is around the front. So, um, oh, where's my battery pack? Oh, can't find it. But yeah, I'll, I'll catch you when we get to Gaylords. Yeah, some of you might be fine with paying the parking. Uh, the other option is you park somewhere around here and get an Uber in or something like that. Uh, but it's really not a far walk. And personally, it's not that far. And I'd rather spend the $38 on some drinks inside or a little beer or a cocktail or something. So always try and save where you can. It all adds up. All adds up. Believe it or not, a few people there were... When I got the $30 parking back at Universal, a few people were like, oh, I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have wasted my time, my time doing that. And a few people said, oh, it's only $30. Like only $30? I can't afford to waste $30. So yeah, if we can save where we can, we will do. And the hotel's literally there. It's not very far at all. Little stretch of legs, all paved nice. Gorgeous sunset as well tonight. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, here we are then. We're going to head on inside. We've got no idea where we're going, but we're going to enjoy exploring. We're going to bring you along with us and find our way around. This is all the valet parking. I think once you get inside, it's all signposted where you're going. But look at it at night. Absolutely stunning, all the lighting. Look at this. We are inside, but it feels like it's outside. Look at this. Stunning. Now, I believe from what you've all written on the comments that all of these trees are meant to be real. I'm not so sure. They look they look fake to me. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, you've got a nice bar here where we can sit and have a drink. Look at it, you've got rooms inside looking out. Do you know what it really reminds me of, Laura? Yeah, you've got it bang on. The cruise, Wonder of the Seas, reminds me of that Central Park area inside the ship, but it feels like you're outside. Here you go, we've got some fish in here. Hello. Well, this is really interesting, lovely for a wander around. I'll tell you what, we should have come here on those rainy, stormy days and had a wander. We went to know until you all commented your recommendations. We're going to keep wandering around, we'll have a little mooch. It looks like there's been a convention on. There's people enjoying a little glass of wine and a drink and a chill. So here we go, let's have a little look. These are the big boards, again, reminds me of the cruise ship. Let's have a little look. We can download the app. We'll X that. So these are the different restaurants that you've got. The Hickory Smokehouse, more the Sandbar. Ooh. These are all the dining options, activities, animal encounters, arcade, wildlife rescue, alligator feedings. The fish feedings as well. And amenities, what we got, gym, different seating. It's a full blown water park there, yeah. Wow, okay. So if you go local info, ah, property maps. Did I go wrong, did I? Maps. Oh, I don't want that. Ah, okay. Right, so we've come in from here. So we can walk all around these gardens. Then we can go along and look at the pirate ship pool area through the back. That's quite a bit to explore then. Right, let's go and have a wonder. If you've stayed here before, let me know. Gaylord Palms, very posh and swanky. Let's have a look. Have a good little wander, then we'll have a little drink. We'll get you a glass of wine, Dad. Look at this, Everglades Walk, Grand Avenue. Stunning, have you seen the, the like net twinkly like star lights? Can you see them? Oh, this is pretty cool. Right, are we carrying on straight then? Grand Avenue. Hey, love a bit of Grand Day, me. My kind of avenue. So we've got the Emerald Cafe and Market, Sports Bar. There's a sports bar up here as well we could have a look at. Now, are these plants real? You've all said they're real. They don't feel real, though. Yes, they are. Oh, yeah. They don't feel it, though, do they? They're that well kept. Oh, what's he found? Oh, we are. Oh, my heck, so the gate is in here. Look at that, all the little heat lamps. I hope these are all sorts of rescues, but you know. 
Hey, look at him floating along. Boy. There is, absolutely. Tons of them. So it gives you all the information here on all the Florida wildlife. If you want to see some gators. Oh yeah, blooming heck. Oh, it's scary the way you wouldn't even know they were there, would you? Wow. So we've just come outside just to have a little look. Here is the pool area, big screen, big water park with the slides. This place is ginormous, it's crazy big. What do you think, Dad? Vast, absolutely vast. Massive, how isn't it? How you'd find your room. <laughs> All your conference rooms, there's so many well, conference rooms absolutely. and bars and restaurants. We'll have a little drink in a bar somewhere. And I'd hate to think the cost per night in here. Well, we'll Google that when we sit in the bar. What do yeah. you think? Just, yeah, you could spend a whole week here and still not see everything. Yeah, it's yeah. vast. Well, we'll keep mooching. Nice, find yes. a little bar and a drink. It'd be nice to thing to do on a, on a rainy day, something to explore. And if you can catch the animal feeding, yeah. even yeah. better, yeah. yeah. We're heading to the sports bar, which actually spreads over two floors by the looks of it. Got another gorgeous pool area there, which looks more adults. Squared off type pool, very long length. Wow, look at that. It goes on for ages. The length yeah, of that. It's I just ginormous. Around, you know? Absolutely ginormous. Some bits remind me of like Pirates of the Caribbean and the bit Caribbean looking. Yeah. Very, yeah, yeah. It's got that vibe to it, definitely. Yeah. Or like Grand Bahamian sort of look yeah. to it. Yeah, the, that pool's yeah. massive, isn't it? And I wonder if it carries on around. I don't no. know. It's no, just, I think it's just one long straight pool. It's massive. People are still enjoying the swim now. Yeah. Are we, should we pop in the sports bar then on the Why upper not? level? Yeah. Why not? I don't know what all of this is. It just goes on and on and on. So you've got a big full market and coffee shop and little bakery there. Mother's shop the other side with all your merch and little bits and bobs. And I just don't know where to go next. Here's another looking, I think there's another bar here. We're going to try and get into. Yeah, it's just loads going on. Oh, nice picky pillow there. Got some Disney merch, let's have a quick look at the merch. These look nice, stuff I've not seen before. They're nice, aren't they? I like the pillows. And you've got a big, lovely dressing gown. Oh, look at them, they look comfy, pajama joggers. Little Mickey Mouse, oh wow, look at the price everyone. $168 for that little mini jumper for the kids. These lovely looking pants, how much are these? They look amazing, but these are pricey. There's no price on them. Yeah, pricey stuff. That's why we've not seen it before. Some gorgeous merch and products in here, but it is all top whack, very good quality stuff, but also very expensive, $130 for the bags and stuff. Fancy cigars, lovely quality stuff, I will say. All the t-shirts feel dead thin. This all feels really comfy. That feels amazing, $66. So it is uh, nice stuff, nice gear. All this Camp David stuff feels really nice. T-shirts, $38. Yeah, it is all proper, proper gear in here. It's had some nice Christmas decorations around there as well. Nice little desktop. top. Nice mugs, little key rings and stuff. Right, let's go and grab a drink then, come on. Yeah. So we're making our way around back to the bars we saw at the very start of the uh, vlog when we started. We yeah, a nice restaurant here as well under the lights. So just making our way back through to those uh, little bars we saw when we first came in. The sports bar we tried to go into was closed for the event. So we couldn't get in there. Let's look at all these gardens and all these plants by the way we've confirmed. They are all real. They don't want you throwing coins in. They don't want you feeding the koi fish either because of his koi fishes. Stunning. And in a day, you'd have the sun beaming through here. Wow. Right, we're gonna carry on around. Okay, so we've stopped for a little drink. Dad went and got the drinks. What have you got there, Laura? That looks really nice and also very expensive. I am thinking it's gonna be margarita. You think? Here he is, Mr. Bud Light. Hey, I've got a big brandy there and all though. I just thought, well... I'm on a Sprite, I'm on a Sprite. Did you want a cocktail? No, I'd like a glass. 
Oh, don't get off the glasses. <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah, I mean, well, but you might have to go back. Bars be even. More incense. Right, go on then, Dad. What's the bad news? What's the damage? Two bottles of Bud Light, a cocktail, and a Sprite, which I'm, I'm taking the Sprite back because oh, it's and, got no and syrup and in it. And oh, and the brandy, the big brandy. The total bill was 61.28. Warm in Yeah, that was, that's my wallet going off. Uh, the, you near the fireworks at the Disney parks. Oh yeah, wow, you can see them. Maybe they're outside of parks, that might be the uh... Down, just to make it interesting. Okay, uh, tell us the price then, full on. The, Three. the two bottles of beer. Yeah. Oh sorry, the passion fruit cocktail. Passion and spice it's called. $17. Right. Uh, two Bud Lights coming in at $16. $8 a bottle. You know, price outrageous, 5.80. 5.80 for us, that's ridiculous. So for an extra dollar or so, I could have had a bottle of Bud Light. Yeah. That's also, crazy. Warren Hennessy's, which I, I guess is a double in England. Yeah. That is big. Uh, $19. Ouch. 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 Right, Dad's going to have a try of Laura's cocktail. What's it called again? It's called Passion and Spice. Right, okay. this was, I went over, the lady was sort of nice, choose one, and Laura said surprise me, so I ignored Pina Colada, Mojito, all right. those, uh, I thought, Laura, she's a bit passionate, a bit spicy. Right. Passion and spice, there you go. Okay, so now you're going to try, what have you got to do with that? What have you got to do, lick the glass? Lick that, that in. What, what that, the hell is I that? I don't know, lick it. Yeah, but you don't want his tongue on the bed. I'm not going to lick it. it. Go on. Lick it. <laughs> you chose it. Lick it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's kicked like a mule. <laughs> it kicks like a mule. It kicks like a mule. Oh. It is. Uh, uh. <laughs> $17? No, 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 we're not getting any more. We're not getting any more. I can't describe the taste, it's not a bad taste. It's sort of salty, sort of sweet, sort of cayenne peppery. peppery. Right, and what's the actual drink like? Spicy at the end, but I like a Moscow mule, so for me, a spice at the end of a drink. They have that, I want to go on one of them. For me, it's fine. <laughs> You did say surprise and, me. And it's a surprise. I'm enjoying it. It's nice. It might it's not be strong. the nicest surprise I think ever. The powder yet. Yeah. yeah. It's strong. <laughs> What's the powder? I think it's what? paprika. <laughs> it tastes like pepper, salt, and sugar. I think it's paprika. Oh, hey. What was that? Oh, that ranks up there with that flipping Mexican. Mexican itch that you had that time. Oh, that was funny. That was. Oh, my throat is burning. <laughs> Taste it. I tasted it. Nice. <laughs> you didn't lick the stuff off the side. <laughs> Got another bit. <laughs> oh, my God, I'll be the bug light. <laughs> oh, you are funny. It is spicy at the end, like. <laughs> okay everyone, well you might recognise where we are, we've come across to Old Town, we've left Gaylords, we've come to Old Town, going to have a little mooch around, it's literally just across from Gaylords this, uh, we didn't manage to make it at the weekend because we had Dad's concert but they do have a great car show here on a Saturday night if you like your classic cars, you've got the fun spot over there with different roller coasters and go-karting and stuff and then all different little shops around and little bits and bobs to look at. That roller coaster is something else, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we've put you on that before. You, and it's it, intense, isn't it's it? It's old style. It's intense. Old style. It's very similar, I would say, like a smaller version of Iron Gwazi, 
that uh, roller coaster over there and uh, fun spot. Who did we kid one year, Sarah, that it doesn't go upside Sarah, down? Sarah, yeah. And she was fuming. Fuming because it doesn't have sh it yeah. does and it doesn't have shoulder straps. It's only got one of those bars, yeah. Oh yeah, by the way. I realise why Velocity Coaster made me completely free out. Is it like that? It has a lap bar. Yes, yeah, no, no shoulder. shoulder straps, yeah. So when you go upside down for half a mile, all you can feel is your legs against the track. <laughs> it's scary. It's awesome. Well, they are. This Thursday, $29, you can get a single, single day pass. There you go, have a whole passing fun spot for $29. Now they did, uh, mum and dad might know, because last time we were here, he, uh, uh, me and Laura did, all nice new signs and stuff yeah. around, showing you where things are going on. So the show cars on a Friday and Saturday are all over here. So it's Friday and Saturday nights. We've got the general store and stuff down here. So we're going to have a little mooch. Might have a little drink somewhere in one of the bars. Yeah, all the different fossils and minerals in there. So we're just looking at all kinds of different fossils here now. Used to come in here as a kid. What have we got here? What, what do these lamps actually do? These are salt lamps and they're meant to be very, very good for you. Do you think they actually do anything, guys? Can you let me know? Because I've seen loads of people, loads of my friends have these and they're just shoved in a drawer and they don't use them anymore. They're meant to be very good for you. I don't know Do how. they do anything? Let me know in the comments because I don't believe they do. That's quite cool, the black and grey one. I don't don't quite see the hype for myself. Remember when these were all the rave as well? We had one of these in the conservatory, do you remember? Oh yeah, when we had the Africa room. Yeah. The Africa theme in oh, the conservatory. Listen, where are you? Oh, you're in Animal Kingdom. <laughs> but we had one in the, I remember having oh, one yeah. in the conservatory, yeah. yeah. We had all that. So we've just been into this sign shop and Laura's just picked up a couple of signs for the bar. So we're gonna take these back to Tenerife. These are gonna go on the back wall of the bar. So we've got Fireball, I like that. Do like a good fireball shot, ignite the night, and then we've got a nice Corona one as well to match. So the back wall in the bar, I think we're gonna do like some old funky style. Yeah. Yeah. And then what I'm gonna do is get one of the, get the designer and the sign maker to make one that looks sort of rustic and old, yeah. but it'll be some nasty car hire, Tenerife. Yeah, that'd be really good. To fit in, so that back wall, I think we're probably gonna like fill it with a bit of like old rustic cool sign sort of yeah. thing. We'll see, we'll find something fun. They're only $15 each, good deal, I think. Yeah. Good deal. I really, I really like them, yeah. Yeah. Nice, right, we'll continue having a little wander. And then we're gonna go and find a nice cheap bar because the bars down here are great value. You could get a big can of like cause light, all kinds in there for three dollars for a I'm giant can of beer, shop, and that's yeah. in a shop, so so we'll see if mum fancies popping in here. This is a popcorn shop with all different flavours of popcorn. See if mum wants to try any of these. Oh wow, there's loads. No. Jeez. The sour cream and onion. Sour Making cream and onion, cheese. popcorn, orange, strawberry. Fancy some popcorn? Yeah. No? It's you like your popcorn? Flavors. They're all different yeah. flavours, yeah. All kinds going yeah. on in there. Flavors. Cinnamon, kettle corn, Cajun spice, cool ranch. Yeah. Don't fancy that? No. So if you just want a little drink while you walk around, you've got these little drink stands. Coldest beer in America sold here. You can get a pina colada for $9, frozen strawberry daiquiri $10, look at that, good prices. All the bottled beers and stuff, so there's an option. And I'm at a Coors Light is $4 in there, bargain. Oh no, no, I couldn't do it. Oh no, I couldn't do it, no, it just goes through me, the whole idea of it and everything. I couldn't do it, no, 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 no. So they've done a great job cleaning all this up and if you want it nice and quiet like this definitely come in the week if you want it busier with a lot more atmosphere definitely come at the weekend quite hard to park but it is busy busy and a lot of more atmosphere going on at the weekends look at that cool chevrolet uh, bench made out of a trunk there's all different shirts more little signs and stuff custom tags you can have made all your custom number plates engraved and stuff in there and then this is one of the most popular bars here on the left. Number one for 23 years. The best place for cocktails, the best nightclub. There you go, sun on the beach. The hottest spot in town. This must be really good value drinks in there. We'll walk to the end and then back again and into the bar. We'll see how much I'll buy you drinking sun on the beach, Dad. Since you treated us in Gaylord, I'll treat you. I'll treat you to a nice beer. How did I realise, eh? 
you were going to do that to me. That's where you can get cool little photo shoots done in there. And they do have lounge flies in here. Have a look at these. There's the figment uh, popcorn bucket as well that was uh, dead popular and sold out. So a lot of these sold out. Look at the Ghostbusters ones, really good. Really good lounge flies in here. Look at these ones, the HHN. The Harry Potter one's good as well, though. Have you seen that one? Good, aren't we? Some good ones in here. Look at that up one as well. Never seen any of these. Yeah, it's good. Clever. Look at the Shrek one as well. Never seen the Shrek one. Well, here we go. Southern Breeze. This is where Dad's going to have a little drink. This is a little bit more chilled style. This will be cheap as well. Mum loves it in here. The uh, Annie's Gifts, which is Disney Gifts. The good stuff in here. It's actually a little uh, genuine stuff as well. So have a look, a little look in this. A lot of these you can't film in, so I do have to be careful. We've got an Auntie Anne's over there. I might get some pretzels. Mm, nice. I shouldn't, but then we are due a snack. We did have a late lunch. We've got a couple of more shops further down to look at as well. And we've done the whole strip. Loads of different shops to look in. A lot of them don't like me filming, so I couldn't show too many. There's quite a few little cool shirt shops and different sign shops and all kinds of sushi express here different eateries you've got uh, nathan's here uh, some other little challenges fat tuesdays is there as well i think dad might have popped into this bar i'm gonna go and find him you've got fat tuesdays there which is quite a good fun one to go into but yeah they've, they've really done it up but it's nice and clean now and it's nice to wander around than it used to be but yeah if you want a little bit more action and everything to be open including the haunted house and everything definitely want to come friday saturday or sunday the best time to come got shoney's kitchen bar there as well oh yeah dad's gone in this one here which is a bit like a garage themed one in there i'm just grabbing a little cheeky uh auntie Anne's, some pretzel dogs mini pretzel dogs will do me a little snack there you go look at these i love these really nice one of them that'll tie me over So, just having a drink in here, sitting at the bar. There's no music on, which is a bit strange. It's just very quiet in there. We thought they were closed. Uh, so, we got a beer. Dad got a beer, a double brandy, uh, a Di Serrano and Coke. And the total bill came to $40. So, it just shows you the price difference uh, between uh, here and uh, across the Gaylord. You can get good value in here. There's a private event on earlier uh, with all the dancing and everything going on. But, yeah, there is good value here. Very good value and uh, the Auntie Anne's wasn't mega bucks. You can go and get a nice coffee or beer and daiquiris and stuff in that one as well. Get a nice hot chocolate or caramel latte for $4 in there over there, which is a uh, good value. But yeah, I think most of it is sort of, they're uh, getting ready to close up, I think. But yeah, it's very quiet in there, which is strange. The private event's finished, but there's literally no music on. It's literally silent in there. There's music out here on the street, but when you go in there, it's just silent. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy our Florida day. If you are enjoying the vlogs, do please give a thumbs up. Make sure you do subscribe. So much more to come. Very excited. But I hope you enjoyed that one and stride on.